Right, so today um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, hiding the boot text. Uh, so when you first start up your Raspberry Pi, it will have a whole lot of text uh, passing through as well as the four uh, raspberries, or if you've got another Raspberry Pi, it'll just have the one Raspberry Pi logo. Um, and as we said before, those are just showing how many processes it has in the core. Um, but some people don't want that boot text uh, as an aesthetic thing. I leave it because it helps me understand uh, when uh, things break, what what actually broke. So I use it for debugging, um, and it's and it's important if you're doing that. But if you're just going to be uh, having it be static and not really do any modifications, then um, or after you've done all your modifications, then maybe uh, you might want to just have it be a clean screen. So in order to do that. Um, you'll type in um, sudo nano uh, forward slash boot forward slash cmd line dot text and then it's just one line and it's very important that it's just one line don't press enter or anything or else it will ruin your boot sequence and you'll have to re-image your micro SD card so just make sure it's all on the same line um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the part that says console equals tty1 and we'll change it to console equals tty3 and then we'll get to the end and press space and then we'll add log level equals 3 and then we'll add quiet and then we'll add logo dot no logo and that, uh, that last line, logo dot no logo, is what will hide the logos. So if you want to just keep the logos just to make sure you know it's actually running when you boot it up, then you can do that. I usually leave the logos. Um, and that dollar sign just shows it's going over. Um, it's still on the same line. Um, so it's it's all still there. You press the left and it takes you back. So um, yeah, just make sure it's on the same line. And so once you've done those edits, um, you'll press Control X and then press Y and then enter to save it um, and that will uh, boot so once you reboot your your system uh, there won't be any more boot text um, so if you ever want to see your boot text again if you've got problems or something's not working then you can modify it back and then um, you can see uh, the boot text again so uh, just remember the things that you changed if you want to ever go back so that's that's all there is to do doing that so.